No, no, I'm fine. I can bandage my own wounds. <sighs> yes, I'm sure. <sighs> Look, I'm not so sure, but I think the more you apologize, the more my head throbs. So if you could ease up on saying sorry so much, that would be swell. It wasn't my first tussle with a beast ten times the size of me. Won't be the last. <sighs> now isn't that curious? Well, I'm flattered. <sighs> I'm flattered you thought my final flourish was beautifully violent. But I distinctly remember telling you to stay here and stay low. You're bad at taking instructions, huh? Or you've got a death wish. Either way, relatable. <clears throat> no, no, please. Please don't use that word. Heroic, hero. There was nothing heroic about it. Ensuring your own survival. It's instinct. There's nothing special about that. Oh. Well. <laughs> As for... Comforting you when you were scared... I... <sighs> I am many things. Selfish. Brash. Good at killing. But I'm not cruel. No one is born fearless. I was once a very well-trained guard dog, and I learned how to soothe those who... were not prepared to face death. And I guess that... anyone who would try to feed a rabid wolf like me probably isn't that bad. Or, at the very least, you don't deserve to soil yourself in fear. <laughs> or something like that. Hey, well, didn't I tell you to knock it off with the apologies? Well, well, for listening in on a private prayer, then, well... Alright, yeah, that is probably worth an actual apology, yes. The wise one. Yeah. He has a name. The wise one is Kepora Gebora. He's not really talked about much these days. Clearly this place has been long forgotten. But for me... For me, it was as though this owl was the only one I could turn to. I've lost... Everything I held dear. Everything I thought I was. But what I found here in these ruins... It's the closest I've come to finding peace. At least when I don't have any uninvited guests. <laughs> uh, so you really heard all of that, huh? Worship is a strong word. I view my owl friend as more of a confidant. I've sought wisdom, and sometimes I've found it. Other times I'm quite certain I'm just talking to myself. And this is just my pathetic attempt at not feeling so lost and alone. Ultimately, the truth is what we make it. If I believe it to be true in my heart, no one can tell me otherwise. And if all of Hyrule believes me to be a vicious, hateful traitor worried of exile, 
Then perhaps that is also true. True enough that I am powerless to convince them otherwise, at least. Did I do it? Do what? No, 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 no. I want to hear you say it. Go ahead. I know you're dying to ask. No. No, I did not kill the king. I would never. That man trusted me, and I trusted him. He saw a pitiful would-be knight and granted me an opportunity. A home. Everything. If there was any fault in him, it was that he was too trusting. But it was also one of his greatest gifts. I would give anything to make it right. To bring him back. But no. He's gone. He's gone, and I should have been there to protect him. Don't. Do not speak her name in this place. I care very little for rules these days, but do not say her name. I am guilty of treason. Make no mistake about it. My fate was sealed before the king's passing. They merely used me as a scapegoat. Never mind who they are. Just know that there is a wickedness in the heart of Hyrule. And I am powerless to stop it. Yeah. There are those who crave power and would do anything to obtain it. Anything at all. But if she's there, if she's there, then there's still hope. So long as she is there, there will be hope for Hyrule still. <laughs> no. No, she never needed my protection. She's far more capable than anyone realizes. Even when she's deceived, she's still in the game. At least, that's what I tell myself to keep from worrying. As for her betrothal... Well, I'd say that's none of my business. But I don't trust that man. And... I'd prefer it if we don't speak about this anymore. That was not an invitation to pivot to Prince Sidon. <laughs> ah. Yes, I know him well. But with his father ailing and kings dropping like flies, well, he's preoccupied. And there's the whole matter of me being a wanted man. <laughs> he knows my heart. But even the future leader of the Zora can't sway the Hylians from their thirst for blood. Why does this matter to you? Why have you bothered wasting your time on me tonight? <sighs> of course. Of course you believe in fairy tales. You know who I am? I'll tell you. I'm just a boy from the sticks who worked his ass off and by the grace of a good man, was allowed an opportunity to prove himself. I am no hero. I am not an echo through time. I am me. I have my own voice. I have my own will. I don't need any of that. 
and if fate ever dared to call on me, I would not answer. Not until I know for certain that I'm living for myself. That I'm not just another cog in the machinations of destiny. Scared? You think I'm a coward for not so willingly putting on this mask and playing my part? Then you really are a fool. I find it to be much more cowardly to put your blind faith in the legends and myths, rather than forging your own path on your own terms. Because what if fate gets it wrong? If this is all some cosmic cycle of strife and suffering, then why do we keep playing along? What if this wheel is meant to be broken? Ah. 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 <sighs> Shit. All that excitement loosened my bandages. No. No, I've got it. No. I said stop! Just... Just stop. Haven't you got enough from me? Isn't this what you wanted? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe you should leave. Wait. Please. Just... Hold on. I... Listen to me. I'm a dirty, wounded, hateful man. I'm not some legendary hero. I'm not anything special. I'm just tired and lonely. If you'll help me with my wounds, I'll gladly cook what you've brought for me and have dinner with you. But just please, let's just be two people. Okay. Forget that I'm me and I'll forgive you for being such a sneak. Alright? Okay. So fix this mess. I don't, I don't, I was terrible at bandaging wounds. 